Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Cohesion, and I'm back with another video, man. Now today's video, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm gonna keep it real, nice and small, nice and simple, because it's gonna be a lot of editing for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. Today we're gonna be talking about the topic of Modern Warfare 2. Yes, the Call of Duty that we've all we're all waiting for to drop on October 28th. I haven't really read too much about what has been confirmed or what we know is gonna be in the game, weapon-wise, perk-wise. UI, gameplay, anything like that. I don't know any of it. This, is, this video in particular is just going to be me explaining what I would like to see and one things, some things that I would not like to see or things I would like not to see return to Call of Duty. If you like this video, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on those post notifications so you guys every time I go live, premiere a video, upload a video, man. Without further ado, my bad, guys. I also forgot to add that, um, you know, yesterday's stream was kind of a... I wouldn't say a turning point, but a, a point in my mind where I could think about stuff a little bit. And um, I really, I really want to try streaming on Twitch. For all the people who are like loyal to my channel or like loyal to supporting me and everything like that, if you guys don't mind, please go follow me on Twitch. I'll leave the link in the description and I'll also put it right here in the video, man. So whatever, whatever, man, whatever you got time, you want to just pop by the stream. I'll be streaming at the same times every day like I do on YouTube, I do. But at the same time, I still want to start streaming on Twitch. Plus, I can make schedules. You can listen to different music. There's a lot more benefits, pros and cons of Twitch, but I just want to give Twitch a try, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to come over there for the next few streams, see how it is, man. If you guys like the streams over there on Twitch, man, please go follow me on Twitch. But without further ado, get back to the video. <laughs> okay, to start us off, let's talk about the game's UI. Now, the game's UI, first things first, like this is like a, a must, in my a priority in my opinion but they need to add field of view to console. And this is not just for MW2, this is for Warzone 2 in general, because I hate the fact that on console, we still do not have field of view after all these updates. Like that's an easy update they could do to the game UI or the game's uh, game settings. Plus you have to realize how much of a disadvantage it is for console players to play Warzone now, because all the console players are enforced to use crossplay when playing that mode. And you're playing against people that already have better fps than us but now they can actually see 30 percent more of their field of view than us i'm just saying i feel like personally me that needs to be something that has to be in the game next like it's it's a requirement okay okay on to the next thing the next thing they should add or make a thing in warzone is to add footstep adjustment audio now what i mean by footstep adjustment audio is they should allow you to be able to either turn off your teammates footsteps like all together or at least change the volume in between enemy and friendly footstep that's something that we've all had problems with experience in warzone and it makes us a lot of a lot of us paranoid and really sometimes it's just our teammates so I, that's one of the things i think that they should add to the next call of duty slash warzone okay on to the next topic the next topic i want to speak on uh adding a comfortability with sprint shape now we all know that when you use tax sprint or when you're running in call of duty your player tends to sway to the left or the right or right to left depending on whatever i feel like you should be able to change how much it shakes or how much it doesn't shake based on the movement or explosions around you or whatever okay so next thing i don't actually know if this is already a thing in call of duty but if it isn't then this is something that i would want um i would love to see a way you could change the map change you could be able to change the map shape on the hood like it's all it's cool in order to have you know a, a, a square map in the, in the top corners or whatever corner they put the map in for the game but i would really love it if you could change the shape of it like even like it would be cool to even have a circle hood i don't know you know what i'm saying just, just change it and like when it moves based off the way you move it shouldn't change directions more so just let you know which direction the person's in something like that i don't know we'll see now we're moving into the part that we've all been waiting for man we're moving into the weapons man the weapons so look 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 number one weapon that i would love to see return to call of duty oh is the ACR from Modern Warfare 3. Now look, don't at me, bro. I know that gun is cracked, my boy. If you play Modern Warfare 3, you know, you know that was the best AR in the game. I don't have to, I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to deride that gun no more. 
All right, the next weapon we got. One of the best snipers back in the day when we used to quick scope back in Modern Warfare days, man. The L118A, bro. This sniper was one of the best snipers. Low key, kind of compared to the Tundra a little bit from BO uh, Black Ops Cold War. But it, it really is one of the best snipers, and I would love to see it return back to the Modern Warfare scene. And since we're on the topic of snipers right now, man, I would love to also see the the OG, the 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 king of quick scoping when it comes to sniping. The M MSR for Modern Warfare 3, man. Now, I'm not trying to pull every gun for Modern Warfare 3, but primarily that's the only, that's, that's, I, I kind of grew up off of Modern Warfare 3 over Modern Warfare 2 a little bit just because at the time I wasn't able to afford Modern Warfare 2. It was a lot popular Call of Duty than the other two Modern Warfare's, but you know what I'm saying. MSR Modern Warfare 3, another one, another great sniper. But back on the topic of you know modern warfare 3 weapons honestly my boys i really really want to see i know this is crazy but i want to see a handgun that's brought back to call of duty and that would be the 57 pistols man from modern warfare 3 this was the most satisfying pistol to use back in those days just because of the free firing rate like there's no separation of you know shots between between shots it was just doo -doo 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 -doo, as fast as you wanted and it was just it was a single fire lovely weapon just love the way it sounded it was one of my favorite pistols but that's everything i wanted to see come back to the game man you know what i'm saying um honestly i really would go into the things i would not like to see but now that i'm at doing the editing and processing of all this stuff it's gonna take a really long time man so if you guys like comment subscribe man on this video man i promise you i'll bring you guys a video of what I, my dislikes and i also got a 2k video dropping for what i would like to see in 2k23 so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys leave that in the comments though but without further ado man everybody y'all boys man everybody y'all stay cold have a great day and i'm out this bitch no cap this shit again.